Howdy, welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. Um, I'm honored that you'd spend some of your time with me today. Right now, I am set up at East Burns Run on Lake Texoma. This is a Corps of Engineer campground. I spent one night here. Lakeside, <laughs> how cool is that? Well, I'm done here. Uh, this was kind of an unexpected stop and you'll have to go back in time on YouTube and see why this was an unexpected stop for me. But I'm done here. I'm headed to my next destination. It is also on Lake Texoma on the Oklahoma side. We are headed to Caney Creek Recreation Area. It's another Corps of Engineer campground. Caney Creek Campground on the recreation.gov website. It looks like that's going to be a good opportunity to put the little boat in the water. So stay tuned, hold on to your pants. We are headed to Caney Creek Recreation Area. Let's go. Well, here we are, Caney Creek Recreation Area, site number 13A. This over here, this not over there. As you can see, it's gonna be tight when they get here. Fortunately, the sites are staggered back. So, anyway, gonna be cozy. It's really level though. It's a water and 30 amp site. Lots of shade trees. That'd be great during the summer. One thing, there's, there's a couple of odd things though. The first one is the water, which is way over there. So if you're coming out to Caney Creek, make sure you bring a lot of water hose. The other, the other thing is water pressure, meaning there's not hardly any at all. So on my little gauge, I never got out of the yellow. So I've got a low green and red. So that means shower will be very not showery. So I'm gonna top off the fresh water and I'll, I'll probably just run off the fresh water tank the whole time I'm here. Uh, Anyway, but it's a beautiful campground. I'm backed up to the woods. I've got a metal table, concrete pad, a, a roof, and the, the cooking table, the fish cleaning table. Not exactly sure what those are for. This, it, Looks, these are old railroad ties, no question about that. I don't know if they're trying to minimize runoff, but it, it actually looks like that's got to be what it is. I thought it was a trail at first. Can't be though. 
anyway finished taking care of a few details here in the camp setup and then we'll go see some stuff Caney Creek out looking for a place to set a camera you know set a camera for the time lapse got a courtesy dock very similar to the one we had gotta be careful no way I'm gonna get the scooter down that but it's a dual purpose fishing and courtesy That, I don't know if you can see it, there's a buoy that marks a brush pile. It looks like it's going to be in shallow water. I don't know, we'll find out. A nice cove for launching the watercraft. It looks like people uh, come out here a lot, they know what they're doing. They've got their boat sitting up on tires I think that'll make a great time lapse all right let me get the camera set and we'll go see some more stuff you ever feel like you're in a McDonald's playland throwback kind of thing I'm here at Caney Creek recreation area on Lake Texoma. It's a Corps of Engineer campground and I just had that that flashback to my childhood with the hamburger. And here's why. That looks like that came straight out of an old McDonald's playland. And the spring rides that will throw you. That old metal slide. Yeah, those are great, and that one faces west, too. <laughs> you want to get some, you want to fry your legs, do them. You want to fry your legs, do that metal slide in August on a sunny day. Caney Creek, Caney Creek Park, Caney Creek Recreation, whatever you're going to call it, it's on Lake Texoma. I'm at the, I think it's the day use, or it could be a primitive camping area. Because as you can see, we've got a, a table, a fire ring, but not really any place to pitch a tent. But man, what a view. Check this out. It's a long way down to the water from here. I know where I'll be setting that camera for sun, sundown, for sunset. It's a pretty park. Lots, lots of live oak trees. Not much going on here in the day use area. You do have a, a vault toilet. And there's water. And this, this park is, is off the beaten path. I mean, you're, you're not going to have just anybody coming down here. you gotta, you got to want to come here. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Well, I, find, I found a hiking trail. But I don't know if it... I may give that a go tomorrow. 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 Uh, it does not look overly scooter friendly. And I, and I know from where I just came from that it doesn't go to the water. Because that's a big cliff over there. What's weird is I don't I don't see where it comes out on this side. I don't know. I'll see what I can find out. I found another part of that that nature trail, that hiking trail. We're, we're gonna have to give that a go tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. They have two group pavilions here at Caney Creek. That one's the larger one. Great big cooker. All right, more to come. Caney Creek Recreation Area. Miss V's right up there. 
and I noticed this. this. This is part of that hiking trail. I'm not gonna go on a hiking trail. I'm looking for a place to put the little boat in the water. Looks like the only option I'm gonna have is over by the, the boat ramp. But I'm hoping, no. Yep, it's gonna be the only place. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all pretty well just a, a cliff. Caney Creek Recreation Area. I'm actually gonna get to do some fishing on the, on the little boat this weekend. But on my drive out here, I did not see any place advertising bait for sale. So I jumped on the internet. Unfortunately, I've got good connection at Caney Creek. Uh, and I found that there is one place in Kingston. It's about 10 miles from the, the campground. And that's Lighthouse Bait and Tackle. He's got it all. Worms, menace, whatever you need. He even has pliers. They also have a uh, seafood catering so if you got a group going out there and you can't catch your own seafood you can call and uh, treat yourself to a catered seafood meal at the campground all right lighthouse bait and tackle kingston let's go catch some fish so caney creek i was over there now i'm over here we moved i moved across the street uh, two cargo buddies, cargo trailer buddies. One came from Kansas, one came from Austin. They met here. And I said, uh, you know, and it was kind of weird having Phil in my front yard anyway. So I said, hey, you know, y'all aren't deployed and I'm mobile. So we traded places. So I guess I need to do another fight review. I don't even know what number I'm in. Uh, A5. So A5, actually the front yard is the is the road, the street. But it's very level. It's actually easier for me to walk on than where I was because this is smoother. It's not gravel. You know, and it's it's a 30 amp water site. The water pressure is better here. So that's a plus. We have a concrete table, that thing, fire pit, and you can see I'm almost backed up to the, the concrete table. The water, there again, it, it's in a weird place. I, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be connected to it or not. It may just, it may be a community thing anyway so I got the little boat assembled and I've decided on a name for the little boat the boat shall be christened pontoon boat or PB PB bobber since it floats on top of water and the wind blows it around and then hooks are draped off of it, waiting for fish to bite. So it is one big giant bobber with dude RV sitting on top of it. The bobber. All right. Stay tuned, more to come. Fishing at sunset, Caney Creek Park.
Three fish. Too small though. Para mi gente Con una pasión Con una pasión tan fuerte Ay, 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 ay Ahora sigo cantando Y sigo gozando Yo sigo cantando Y sigo gozando Good morning, Caney Creek Campground, Caney Creek Recreation Area, Lake Texoma. We're done here, ready to head back to the house. And recap, this is a really pretty setting, but it's really crowded. I love the, the, all the big oak trees. Not too much in the way of uh, bank access to the lake. This is probably not a park that I'll come back to uh, just because it's so crowded. Now if you can get a, one of the sites down on the, on the waterfront, those waterfront sites, rocking. They're not one space, they're not right on top of each other and you got a, a pretty nice view. Of course, you're looking at marinas on the other side of the lake, but hey, that's better than uh, looking at the backside of your neighbor's RV. I have not seen any park staff since I've been here. I didn't go to the restrooms here because they're so overcrowded. As, since there's only the vault toilet, well, I, so I used the vault toilet while I was fishing yesterday. It was clean, didn't didn't have a horrible odor to it. Uh, didn't go into the shower facility because it was a lot, that was busy all day long. Not much in the way of wildlife here. I've seen a lot of squirrels, uh, a few interesting birds, a kingfisher, and what looked like a brown pelican. I, but it was kind of far away. It may have been a loon. So in conclusion, Caney Creek, not a destination unless you're a boater and you want a, a different perspective. There are other more spacious campgrounds on Texoma. If you just are driving east and west through Southern Oklahoma, you might want to pay this one a visit for a day or two. Otherwise, don't go out of your way to come here. Just saying, uh, it, it's gonna, it's crowded. And people just pitch their tents wherever. Although I did get to do some fishing. And oh, by the way, the boat is rocking. Do need to do some modifications to that. All right, so I'm gonna close it out. Hey, I appreciate y'all sticking with me for this, through this. I appreciate y'all paying me a visit and coming along with me as we deep dive into Caney Creek. If you've not already, please click on the subscribe button down there and remember to hit that bell as well. For those of you who have been riding along with me, thank you. I'm very deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. That's why I stuck it out here at Caney Creek. I'm deeply honored. 
Y'all come back now, you hear? Thank you.